Hello viewers, I am honored today to introduce you to Dr. Bruno Chickley, the developer of Lymph Drainage Therapy, and today he's going to give us an overview of LDT1. I'm especially thrilled to introduce this work to you because when I first took it in the 90s, it was a life-altering experience for me to find a touch so gentle, so connected, so loving, and completely transformative, deeply profoundly effective was fantastic. So enjoy as Dr. Chickley will share with us an overview of LDT1. Thank you. I think you said it all. I don't have anything to say now. <laughs> <laughs> well, in LDT1, I think we give them a lot of science because it's one of the, um, fortunately, it's one of the most documented manual therapy we have. You can see in my book there's about 50 pages of scientific reference and it's something we need to know anatomy, physiology, the indication, cultural indications especially um, and uh, so they can talk to uh, physicians, they can talk to their patient, to insurances and they have something grounded in science. But I think the originality of LDT is really um, the palpation of the lymph flow. All these years I don't think uh, we ever taught how to specifically talk, uh, palpate the rhythms and the direction, the depth and the quality of the, the lymph flow and interstitial fluid. And that is one of the um, things people come for because it's really such an improvement. Because um, if you just pump the lymph without feeling, just following instructions every three or four seconds, or whatever, um, it's not the same that if you just connect feel the exact timing when the lymph flow, the rhythms is going to go, find the direction, and every other stroke is efficient. So you save so much more time, and you're so much less invasive, because you help the motoricity, the uh, peristaltic wave of the lymph on, in, during, on their, in their flow, you can help them, help nature on its way, and um, you have, uh, if you want, much more um, efficiency and much less time to accomplish the same thing. So we spend a lot of time, we want to be sure at the end of four days, we want to be sure that 99.9, if not all the glass, um, we have great instructor, they really try to have all the glass, um, uh, being able to palpate that lymph flow with all these qualities, and then be able to apply it to the skin, later on to the muscle, the fascia, a little bit of, of, of liver in the other one, the, the viscera, and then more and more viscera after each class. And we do that so they can really have a, a whole school of learning when they can learn different area in the body, different pathologies, applying it to muscles, to bones, to the organ of senses, to things that usually people don't use, and also how to combine to read in the body when it's a fascia problem, when it's a lymph problem, and to release both together, the fascia and the lymph. In level two, they're gonna learn lymphofascia release, how to release the fascia and the lymph in one stroke. That's something that's gonna be amazing. So the first class, we try to bring people on the most superficial flow, the, the superficial flow in the body. In the extremities, for example, 70 to 80% of lymph is on the surface. And we want people coming with all those deep uh, touch. Uh, it could be a physician, um, an osteopath, a chiropractor, a PT, a nurse, um, a massage therapist, uh, or any other um, dentist or any other profession. They usually learn something more structural, more heavy, more um, deep tissue, or more um, physical. So they like to pull and push on the tissue. And by putting them on the surface, showing them how efficient you can be on the surface, and they can't grab anything initially. So we give them a whole new spectrum of touch. They're gonna to be able to touch very light, very heavy, with fluid, with fascia, depending on what they wanna accomplish. So we bring them in the first class, something more superficial, uh, just for three days, and we go deeper, we go with the viscera the last day, and we bring them the, mess, the main group of nodes, um, and most of the, the body, so they can do a lot of things and their application after the first class are numerous. There's really many, many things they can do from fluid stagnation anywhere in the body. Fluid stagnation could be 
um, in the viscera, could be uh, in, a, in a joint, synovial fluid, could be um, in under the skin, the, in the mucosa, in the gum, in, after any surgery. So we show them a protocol before and after surgery. Um, any inflammation, um, we show them how to work with chronic pain, uh, how to apply it to, um, you know, how it's going to help stress and uh, sleeping disorders, for example, spasm. So if you work with a sport, you're going to have really spasm and chronic pain and detox and you know, fluid stagnation. So you can apply it to any kind of, uh, of, of population you work with, from very little baby, because it's so gentle, to the senior population that need to be touched very, very gently, especially when they're passing. It's something very important to help them just sometime before death, you see the fluid stopping. And something that's very interesting and very soothing for them to get their fluid still continuing to, uh, to flow. And we have many other uh, things we want to be sure that, as professional, if they ever had any problem, it's because they don't know contraindications. So we want to be sure they know the contraindication, um, as well as the application. So the work, and they have some protocol they can leave the class with. So after one class, is four days, but they have a lot already. And then they're going to deeper. <laughs> yes, they do. And that they know they can complement this work. It doesn't have to be standalone. You mentioned a lot of different kinds of practitioners. They can blend it with what they already do. Right, because it's um, if you know the physiology of lymph, you know how it helps every other system in the body. So if you do cranial, you know that the cerebrospinal fluid is one uh, fluid that is reabsorbed much more in lymph than in the venous side. Especially if the pressure on the spinal fluid increase, cerebrospinal fluid increase, you go more with an lymphatic. So they are just like hand in hand, working with the center of the body, the core, with the cerebrospinal fluid, and the periphery, with the connection with other, the connection with the environment. Those two fluids working together is something very, very deep. With the viscera, we're gonna work right inside the organs. Um, the visceral manipulation work more with the capsule around, and with deep tissue, by uh, neuromuscular therapy, trigger points, rolfing, um, halo work. Sometimes you want to be very heavy to start, but if you do lymph first, tissue relax, uh, the spasm relax, it's much easier to mature the tissue, much easier to relax the tissue, then you can do your work, and at the end, especially when you begin to dump a lot of stuff in the circulation, and you know people have pain after some of the session, uncomfort, um, hematoma, they have, <clears throat> you know, different um, bruise sometimes even, so if you do lymph after, you can really make them feel much more comfortable, prevent a lot of side effects. So I think it's something, whatever you know, because the lymph is so pervading in all the system in the body, helping everything to come back to um, helping your body to function to its optimal, um, you can always uh, combine this technique with any other modality. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Dr. Chickley. So you see, there's something for everyone in it. Thank you again.